And we are with the president of the Rotary Club here in Long Beach, Jane Latoski. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. Thank you for joining us. What a gorgeous day, an incredible event. It's beautiful and sunny. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Rotary here in Long Beach. Well, the Rotary Club of Long Beach is turning 100 years old. We're the oldest service club in Long Beach, and we're one of the top 50 clubs in the world out of 35,000 clubs. So we have a lot of Rotari Rotarians here giving away a lot of money. I know today was significant, but on average you give away how much a year? $350,000, I believe, in scholarships every year, and uh, Jane can tell you more about the total on the foundation. I believe it's $5 million. I, that's what I heard. Why don't you talk to us about the foundation? When did it get established? Uh, well, it was established, as I mentioned, in 1929 as a, as a loan uh, funding source. Um, so we've been going on for a long time as well. 1929 is a long time to be giving scholarships out. And we are continuous. We, have, we give a, approximately 300000 or more to students in Long Beach every year. That's, that's what we're about. That is so incredible. And we were hearing earlier the president talking about that this is one of the largest donations ever for a student at Cal State. This is the single largest scholarship that we have ever provided in our 60-year history. So it is. Uh, we decided we want to do something special for the centennial of Rotary as well. So the $15,000 scholarship is our largest ever that we've done. Well, congratulations. It's exciting to be here. We're going to go congratulate the winner of that scholarship. Absolutely. She deserves it. Okay, Yasmin. Well, congratulations on this incredible award. Thank you so much. I'm so humbled to be here. It is such a special day to win the Centennial Award. Must make you, I know you feel a little proud. Just a little bit. <laughs> you work hard. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration to want to be a community activist. So, I mean... Honestly, it is entirely the community, the leaders that I've constantly aspired to become like. Um, I would say my, uh, my parents, those that are really just kind of going off the backs of leaders that have already been established in uh, our community. I work with um, Access California Services, right, which is a refugee resettlement and social services organization. Um, I also am really involved with uh, Muslim American Society, um, with CARE, as well as some of the organizations on campus. So it's really been a lot of different, like exhibiting that leadership and exhibiting that community service through several different avenues. Okay, so we are with the Cal State University of Long Beach President, President Connolly. So nice to see you. Oh, well, I'm delighted to have you here. What a joyous occasion for us. For us, really, truly, this is really special. Not only was the day special, tell us a little bit about picking Yasmin for this award. Well, Yasmin um, has unbelievable qualities of poise and thoughtfulness and deep thinking for a person her age. Uh, I mean, at any age, this would be outstanding, but she's a very young woman. And she's really been leading, uh, you know, a number of groups. She's involved a number of groups on campus with a kind of quiet certitude, always very civil, really looks to see if she can understand the other person's situation. And of course, this is all happening in a national context of concerns about people's feelings toward Muslims, toward people from the Middle East. And so she's managed that um, under a kind of microscope that most of us don't face. Mm -hmm. And so I've been especially impressed with her uh, accomplishments. Gosh, we really all are. Yes. Yeah. We're, so it's so great to bring a highlight to a personality like that. I, obviously, it's what's so much needed in the future. Absolutely. We need to have people who listen and who understand how to compromise, have values, obviously, that guide them, but uh, do not engage in demeaning others who think differently. Uh, well, thank you again for highlighting this and for bringing us into your home. This is the Miller home, which I know is very historic. Can you give us a little bit of background as we kind of walk into this living room sure. area? Yeah. Well, so the Miller House was built in about um, uh, 1961. It looks a little older than that because the Millers were actually using a, um, a plan of a house that was from the 1930s. Okay. So although the house is, you know, it's, it's a kind of mid-century, a little after that, but uh, in fact, I think it, most people feel like it kind of exudes a, an older uh, feel. Most people notice the uh, unbelievable woodwork all around and all these great little niches for... Um, uh, you know, displaying things. And a very special thing for us, we're the fifth family, Kali and I, my husband, Dr. Kali Conley and I, are the fifth family, fifth presidents to live here. And so we have decided that we wanted to turn it into the university's living room. So we have about 80, last year we had about 80 events here, and really tried to reach out into the community and bring people, especially who maybe have not been here before, uh, 
to also, you know, to kind of um, strengthen our community relations and also show off the work of our incredible students. All the art you see here was uh, created by students. That is so brilliant. Such a special house, a special place to showcase. But also living here as the president is also special as well, the family that donated the home. So inviting people to come in and enjoy that with you is really great. Well, it is, and it's, a, it's certainly a joy and an honor. And I'm humbled by it. And not only the home donated, but er almost every piece of furniture you see here has been donated to the university for use in the president's home. And that's, you know, I think another illustration how people in Long Beach are really connected to and willing to invest in their university. So it's not just about, it's not about me or about the, the previous presidents. It's, I think it's about how the community sees that the, un is, the university is an anchor for continued economic and civic and artistic development in the region. Absolutely, it's all so connected. Such a great city with their philanthropic pursuits from way back when, and we're such a, it's such an honor to see that today. Well, it is, and the Rotary Club with here 100 years of service and these millions of dollars that they've invested in students. And, you know, the Long Beach City Co College students and the Long Beach, uh, Cal State Long Beach students tend to stay in the area. So an investment in those students really is a bridge to what those students will accomplish and contribute to the Long Beach area, the, just our region. Uh, I think we have, you know, we have 300,000 alums. And a big portion of them, about probably 85%, live within 50 miles. So, you know, committing to that investment really does help our entire region along so many dimensions. Well, a big thank you to the Rotary Club for all that they do for the students here in Long Beach and beyond. Their, their job is to serve, so they say, and they're doing a great job of that. And a big thank you to you. We're lucky to have you as president here. Well, thanks. It's been uh, now two and a half, almost three years. It's gone by very quickly. Some days have lasted a long time, but the years have just flown by. And uh, it's a fabulous university, wonderful um, uh, faculty and staff. And our students are striving students, you know, 56% of them uh, Pell Grant eligible, meaning they are below a poverty line, federal poverty line in their families, and 40% are first in their families. So the university continues its mandate to move the citizens of California to the, the next level of success. And so I'm very, very proud of that. Awesome. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. I hope so too. Yeah, come back anytime.